What's up chums? Sharky here. At first I wasn't going to do an unboxing for this, but then I was like, you know what? I need some content, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. If you guys have seen me talk about my pin collection before, you might know that one of my favorite, like all-time favorite pin artists is Bite Size Treasure. She's very like ocean focused with her products. Even her packaging is like environmentally friendly. She loves sharks, I love sharks. I mean, what more could you ask for? So I got this today. I absolutely love this tape. It's so, so cute. I wish you could buy the tape. I don't know if you can or not though. I think it's like her signature tape or whatever, but. So I guess I should probably tell you that I've been waiting like five months for this. This was a Kickstarter campaign that I helped fund. It's finally here. <laughs> so originally the Kickstarter campaign was for a pin set that said save the sharks and it was a bunch of different kinds of sharks. And of course, like the designs were mega cute, so I couldn't not fund it. So here we go. These are some more of By Size Treasures pins that I have. This one's one of my favorite ones, it glows in the dark. And then this one, this one's by a different artist, but it was from Etsy. And then this one, and then this, this one's probably my favorite one out of all of them. It's glittery. I don't even want to cut this tape. It's so cute. Uh, okay. So we open the box. It says, it's official, your treasure is here. This Kickstarter is closed, like you can no longer um, support it. It's already been funded and everything. So I actually got some add-ons that costed extra with this. I actually added some things on to this order. So all of the things that I got in this box weren't necessarily what I pledged. I went above and beyond my pledge because I, I love Bite Size Treasure and I love her work. I'll leave a link in the description of her website and her Etsy store. This first item is one of the add-ons that I was so excited about. I don't even want to rip this. Like everything is so cutely packaged. I don't want to rip it, but I have to to get to it. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? It's a mint colored shark pin board. And these are actually 3D printed. And then this is just like the hanger that goes on the back of it. But um, I actually followed the process of these being made. I think her husband helped her 3D print and make these, so. Yeah, really awesome. Okay, so here's the next thing. I don't know what this is. Feels hard, whatever it is. Oh, okay. So here we have a print, like an art print. Oh, these are stickers. Okay, well this one's not, but Okay, okay. I don't want to show that just yet. You might have already seen it. I'll flip it over. Th these are the pins. I don't want to show those yet. Okay. Show you the stickers first. Here's one. Ooh, very shiny rainbow. It's a fin and a wave. And it says, no fins, no future. Oh, I would love to put this on my car, but... I don't know. <laughs> the sun will destroy this if I put it on my car because I don't know if you know anything about Texas, but Texas heat will kill anything you put on your car. 
And this is the other sticker, and it says, Save the Sharks. And I think, if I remember right, let me see. This is a Mako Shark sticker, which I actually picked this. Yeah, I really like this one. Let me show the other sticker closer in case you didn't really see it, sorry. No fins, no future. Very pretty, very holographic. Okay, and then these are the pins, the main reason for the Kickstarter. And I got a couple add-ons. So all of the shark tooth pins, those are add-ons. Okay, the reward that I selected, like the one that I pledged for is this one, the black tip. I'm sorry I can't bring it any closer, it won't focus, but this is the one that I pledged for. It's a black tip reef shark. And then this one is an add-on that's the Mako shark. And then these were add-ons as well, which are these sparkly? No, they're not. Okay, they're just white, but if my camera would focus, I hope you can see that clearly. I love all of these so much. And I love how they have blue backings. That's just awesome. <laughs> And there's one more, let's see, yeah, there's one more thing in here. This is my lanyard. I have the mint version of this. It's the same like print, but this one is dark blue. Yes. If any of you were wondering about my necklace in this video, this was made by Bono Glass here in Austin, Texas. He's a friend of mine and uh, I really love his work. He does all kinds of stuff. He makes pipes and pendants. This one's a tentacle. I'll link his Instagram below. Be sure to check him out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry I've been so delayed with the content lately. Um, I haven't really been feeling that creative lately, honestly, but thank you for your support as always. I'll see you next time.